thanks so much for checking out this video about Oaks Christian's educational trip to Ireland and Britain in summer of 2015. Hopefully this video can give you lots of information and answer some of your questions. So the big questions, when is this happening? This is in July 2015. It's going to be two weeks long. Where are we going? We are going to Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and England. Why is Oaks Christian offering this trip? Well, it's really because the places we'll be visiting complement what your students have studied already in class here at Oaks. Uh, some of those topics include sort of ancient England, the Roman Empire, uh, the Normans coming over from France, the Reformation and the Protestants and all of the changes that took place, uh, the, the growth and, and power of the British Empire, definitely the Industrial Revolution, even a little bit about America and, and how and why people left the British Isles, and of course, the First and Second World Wars. Who's going? Well, there is Matt Hurdle, history teacher at Oaks Christian, and I'm Maggie Weiss, and we've both traveled extensively and we love Europe. And we have planned this trip using World Strides International Discovery. They're a great tour group, and we've chosen them for a number of reasons. Um, really, it's that we get to determine who is on this tour. In With many companies, you are forced to team up with schools you've never met before, and that can always be a little bit tricky. So we wanted to make sure we could have it just be an Oaks Christian group. This also allows us to do a bit of customizing. We don't have to go with a pre-planned trip, but there, are, there have been ways that we can customize the trip that's best for our community. Some of the other reasons is we will be assigned a tour director who is with us from the moment we land in Ireland until we leave in England. Lots of things are included in the cost, airfare, all transportation, great hotels, really great food. Uh, we'll have plenty of local guides in the places we visit and entry to so many of the places that we go. So this really is very inclusive in terms of uh, what the cost includes. About the itinerary, we'll leave from LAX on Monday the 13th and we'll go to Killarney, Ireland. We'll spend that first afternoon once we arrive just sort of exploring the area and sort of hopefully getting rid of a little bit of jet lag. On day three, we'll be around the Ring of Kerry, and this really is typical Ireland. When you see images of Ireland, the rolling hills along the coastline, it is the Ring of Kerry. Day four, we'll go to the Blarney Castle, very famous for the gift of gab. The theory is, or the legend goes, that if you kiss the Blarney Stone, you will always be a well-spoken, eloquent individual. We'll also go to the Rock of Cashel, which is the traditional um, castle where the kings of Ireland lived. Sometimes it's called St. Paddy's Castle. So lots of castles, lots of history on this trip. Then we'll travel to Dublin, capital of the Republic of Ireland. We'll visit um, Trinity College and this beautiful, beautiful library where we have the Book of Kells. We'll go to uh, downtown Dublin, we'll go to Phoenix Park, which is this beautiful park right in the center of the city. We'll be able to talk about things like immigration to America, the Easter Rising, and sort of the development of Irish independence from England. From Ireland, we will take a ferry across the Irish Sea to Carnarvon, Wales. and we'll get to visit Carnarvon Castle before continuing on to Chester, England for the evening. Next we'll be in the Lake District. This has become famous from um, Jane Austen novels, from many of the English poets like Wordsworth or Samuel, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and just stunning, stunning beauty. From there we go to Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland famous for the Royal Mile and Holyrood Palace, and hopefully we'll get a taste of Scottish Cayley traditional dancing. We'll visit Stirling Castle, this huge fortified castle, home of the Scottish Kings. 
We'll also get to see Hadrian's Wall, built by the Romans to keep out those terrifying barbarians. And on our way to York, we'll stop at the Beamish Museum. It's an open-air museum dedicated to the Industrial Revolution and early 20th century in England. We'll make our way down towards London, and we get to visit Windsor Castle. Continues to be home to the royal family since the time of William the Conqueror, and it just really feels like royalty could walk past you at any moment. And of course, no trip to England would be complete without seeing all of the sights in London, including Big Ben, Parliament, the double-decker buses, Buckingham Palace, all of it. We will also get to go to Stonehenge and the ancient city of Bath. So this trip covers everything, all these different eras of history. And after two weeks, we will come back to LAX from London. I know many of you are probably wondering, what does this cost? Well, it does depend on how many students sign up for the trip, but we do know that it, it will be between 5,400 and 6,200. Again, depends on how many students sign up. If you have questions, I would love to answer them. My email address is mweiss at oakschristian.org. Thanks for your interest. <laughs>